The government has restated its commitment to offering cost-effective housing options to Ghanaians to help them cope with the current economic challenges related to housing in the country. The Ministry of Works and Housing plans to consider implementing subsidies to enhance accessibility to housing for all citizens. Under the updated National Affordable Housing Programme, the government will subsidize housing units, including land and infrastructure, while the private sector will secure funding to construct apartments based on a cost recovery approach. This revised program aims to facilitate affordable housing for every Ghanaian, as highlighted by the Ministry of Works and Housing. During a visit by a delegation from South Africa, led by the Minister for Human Settlement, Mamoloko Kubai, the Minister for Works and Housing, Francis Asensubwache, expressed the intention to explore additional financing options for Ghanaians to own their homes. During this meeting, our expectation is that we shall exchange ideas on institutional frameworks for housing delivery, sharing experiences and best practices. We will explore housing finance and subsidies for affordable housing, both in the demand and supply sides of housing market. This is crucial to ensure that housing is accessible to the majority of our people, regardless of their economic circumstances. Conversely, the Minister of Human Settlements for South Africa, Mamoloko Kubai, emphasized the importance of providing housing opportunities to uphold the dignity of Africans. The vision of housing opportunities goes hand in hand with provision of human dignity for our citizens. It is important that when we provide these opportunities, we do so in the manner that is affordable for our citizens, but also ensures that we do not continue with our legacies of our colonizers and where we have experienced apartheid, we did not see our people seeing dignity and experiencing humanity. Ours as governments have been that of maturing. Furthermore, the meeting witnessed the signing of bilateral agreements between the two governments' representatives, focusing on areas of shared interest.